residents in one New Mexico town are fed up with the crime and they're demanding change. So the town council made a big change tonight, firing its top cop. News 13's Lizay Mitri shows you why. I think we've lost confidence in this police department. Mr. Mayor, I'm asking you to take your town back. I'm asking you to take your town back and find people who are competent to protect us. Passionate speakers at a council meeting concerned about crime in Mountain Air questioned what Police Chief Robert Chung was doing to fix it. He's not going to fix the problem because he doesn't admit that there's a problem. It is on us to get something done. Council member Peter Nieto has led an effort to put GPS trackers on police cars to make sure officers are where they're supposed to be, not doing their jobs. But tonight the discussion was whether or not to go a step further. We need a change. We need a new chief, maybe some officers that are diligent about their jobs, not just retired on duty. I believe that all members of our police force are good people. I, I do. In my heart of hearts, I believe that they are. I believe that, yes, they've been short staffed. One officer quit, leaving the department with three, including the chief. While council members went into executive session to discuss the complaints behind closed doors, the chief told us he didn't want to talk on camera, only saying the allegations are inaccurate. The council returned and within seconds voted unanimously to fire the chief effective immediately. The mayor stood by the training of his police department and the now former chief. They're good police officers. Mr. Chung had 30 years in New York, so I'm sure he had plenty of training. <laughs> now the mayor's in charge until he hires a new chief for the now two-person police force. Yes, I'm very concerned. It's hard to get policemen in Mountaineer. It's a long ways from big city. <laughs> Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. The chief had no comment at the meeting after learning about the council's decision.